Hi, how's it going? Hey, Jesse, this is Stephanie and Michelle from New Theory. How's it going today? Very well, thank you. How are you? Uh, pretty good, pretty good. I uh, just want to thank, thank you for getting the time to talk to us today. Uh, two questions for you. Are you, you. from New York? What yeah, you know are. <laughs> What's that? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, well, I can, I can hear it. I can hear it. New York native. You're talking to a New York native, so. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, well, Jesse, so what's going on with our boy Jay Halstead on Chicago TV coming up for next season? Um, so next season, we don't know yet. There's not much we know. You know, they're in the writer's room. They're working on it right now. But uh, what's really cool is that last week, uh, I think the last episode that aired, was the uh, Chicago Justice pilot, basically. So it's the fourth installment in the Dick Wolf universe in Chicago. Um, we got this new cast of characters to come play with us. It's uh, Phil Winchester and Carl, Carl Weathers, uh, Apollo Creed, for any Rocky fans out there. And, um, right. and so next season, I think it's going to be pretty cool with the addition of this show, having you know the officers on PD. You know, Hopefully my character will end up on the stand, maybe getting deposed. Uh, or having to testify, you know, getting involved in something where they crossed the line or went too far in that gray area that we like to play with, uh, you know, to see how far someone will go um, to to do what they think is right, you know. Gotcha. Yeah. Well, good to hear that they're uh, adding to the Chicago series. So, because now there's a couple of your shows, is there any kind of fun civil rivalry between it? You guys have any competitions going on? There's no real competitions, but um, we do joke that it's like one giant frat family. You know, it's like fire is the seniors and PDs the juniors, meds the sophomores, and now we got justice, which is the, the, the freshman class. And obviously freshmen need to be hazed, so we don't know what that's <laughs> going to look like yet, but we'll see. All right, awesome. Yeah. So uh, we hear when you're not on set, you're actually out taking to the streets on your motorcycle. How did you get into riding? We never really, you know, pegged you as a kind of biker boy. Yeah. <laughs> I guess, uh, I'm not, I don't know if I'm a biker boy. I am. I'm a biker boy. I've been, uh, I've been riding <laughs> for 10 years. Um, I, I started riding in New York City. Um, that's where I learned to ride, which I don't recommend. It's crazy. No. <laughs> um, but, uh, but learning to ride there, um, you know, it's in an urban environment, uh, was uh, was a really good education, and and I, I like riding because it's there's something very zen about it and meditative about it. You know, the the noise in your head kind of goes away, and you're just really present, worried about your surroundings, and that's why I love it. Um, so I can't wait today. I'm you know, I'm working with Harley Davidson, and I get to check out uh, the new bike they got coming out, which is the Roadster, which is really uh, geared towards the streets. It's an urban bike. It's a city bike. It's going to be really powerful, very agile. Um, and really clean, like minimalist design, which is true to my heart, um, you know, from where I, I started riding. And, uh, and I just can't wait to get on it. I think it's going to be great. And if you want to check, check it out, it's uh, h-d.com slash roadster. Yeah, we will definitely be checking it out. Yeah. Um, so, got to bring that back, take it to the streets again in the city. Not that surviving on a motorcycle in Manhattan isn't a trick in itself. Are you going to be doing any cool tricks on this roadster? Cool tricks? Yeah. Well, I don't know if they'd let me to do any cool tricks today because <laughs> it's not <laughs> going to be my roadster. <laughs> um, All right. And, and I don't know if I would, I would admit to you uh, with comfort that I was doing any tricks because, you know, not, not for the kids at home. Let's, we should leave that out. <laughs> okay. Totally understand it. Yeah. Okay. So we also need to know who would win in a bike race, Jesse? Who would win in a bike race, you or Jay? Me or Jay? Mm-hmm. Uh, Jay wins hands down. Jay can do no wrong. I mean, Jay I th wins, you know, right out the gate. I feel like that's just, <laughs> there's no contest. <laughs> I'd be like, I have to be slow and careful and, like, check, you know, both directions twice, and, and Jay would just go. All right. So we know you love your Harley Davidson roadster, but if you had to choose between writing and acting, which one would you choose? No pressure. Writing and acting, that's a, that's a really terrible question. I can't choose. Um, no actually, it's funny, it's funny you say that, though, because I have been uh, nagging one of our producers, Derek Haas, um, on Twitter and face-to-face -to, -face to get Halstead on a bike to write it into the show. So mm -hmm. maybe I could do both. 
Um, you know, like there's no reason why we can't get him on a Harley. Come on, let's do it. Um, and the fans that have been nagging be him too on Twitter, so it's pretty funny. Yeah, that sounds like a dream come true for yeah, you. <laughs> absolutely. Oh my gosh. All right. Well, we don't drive motorcycles, but we do drive our cars, and we can't go anywhere without listening to music. Are you that way on the road, sir? No, I, <laughs> I can't. I don't listen to music when I'm riding. It's it, I, uh, I think I would be too distracted. I have ADD as it is, and if I was like listening to music and like you know you got to, you got to worry about balance and stuff. Probably not a good thing. <laughs> yeah, so you won't be rocking out to any uh, Taylor Swift while you're cruising down the street. No, I I would not be rocking out to Taylor Swift on the roadster. I I don't think. Yeah, no. Okay, so no music on the bike, no Taylor Swift. But if we were to hit play on your iPod right now, what's the song we would probably hear? Oh my gosh, that's a really tough question. Um, White Iverson is on my iPod right now. That's that's literally what was what was playing on my way home last night. So there you go. Good stuff. Yeah. All right. All right. Well, we have a quick round of this or that for you. Just a little game to you know finish it off. Okay. So, now keep in mind, you're talking to two girls from New York. Deep dish or thin New crust? New York. I hear it. I can hear it. <laughs> <laughs> so deep dish or thin crust? Thin crust. That's I. I grew up in New York. I'm a thin crust guy. Deep dish is delicious, but it's more like a pie and less, in my opinion. I don't want to offend anybody. Less of a pizza. <laughs> Sorry. No, it was a very diplomatic answer. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Good I appreciate man. that. Okay, so morning or night? Night. Okay, blonde or brunette? No comment. <laughs> okay, wine or beer? Wine or beer? Wine. All right, city or country? City. All right. This is a tough one. Are you ready? Yep. Boobs or butt? Do you say boobs or butt? Yep. <laughs> oh my gosh. I don't know. I like it. I like it. All of it. I don't know. <laughs> all right. So. Yeah, blonde, brunette, finish. boobs, butt. It's, it's all good stuff. I don't know. <laughs> all right. Well, we'll stop torturing you right after a quick question. Truth or dare? Uh dare okay so we dare you next time you're in new york you have to come visit your new york girls to sit down with us and chat a little bit more how's that sound all right that would be great that was an easy dare i was pretty scared for a second <laughs> <laughs> well we figured after all the questions we gotta go a little easy on you thank you you're welcome thank you so much for taking the time today jesse all right take care